All right, greetings family. We're at Hillbury uh, Resort and we're here to place order for our lunch for later. So we have yeah, everyone getting their, you know, getting the menu and everything ready. And this is not where we're gonna be eating at. Uh, we're gonna actually be eating at the bottom part of the resort. So this is the reception slash bar area. Very nice little introduction, nice little feel. We've never stayed here before, but we have always come here for lunch over the last few years. So it's been great. So definitely want to make sure that uh, everyone get a chance to check it out and get a feel of this beautiful view, landscape, all those good things. Yes, hopefully everybody's loving the view. It gets yeah. better once you go down. So once you, once you place our order, later on we're gonna be eating right down at the bottom in the gazebo. Nice mountain view, right? This reminds me um, strawberry milk, um, Bob Omani. This reminds remind me of James, um, James Bond, smart strawberry hill. This is a similar setting. Strawberry Hill, hear that family? Yeah, strawberry. Stra if people don't, under, don't understand Strawberry Hill, All right. Strawberry Hill is, is um, the guy who would develop Bob Marley. He was Bob Marley producer. The guy who owned Strawberry Hill. And tell Chris Blackwell. And tell me exactly where Strawberry Hill is. It's up in Irish Town. There you go, from Irish Town. And like family. going up to, to the soldier camps on, on the way. Irish Town, Irish Town, all of that area. So, up Garden Town. Going up the hill. So there you go, family. It, it's the similarities of <coughs> tropical paradise. My brother's just breaking it down, and uh, he's here in Ghana, and he's just having these reflections of Jamaica. So that's what we do. See that? Maybe maybe that whole culture of people like why why attract Ghana to 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 um to Bamali wife. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're gonna Rich be driving by next, yeah. and um and then also there's a uh, yeah, Jamaica. Jamaica village, Jamaica town, further up in the mountains. So, and so you have lots of Rastas who move here from different parts of the world, uh, including Jamaica. <coughs> so that is the view, but once you go down, you just be able to see a whole lot more also. Oh, okay. And this, this building is part of the property? Oh yeah, it's, uh, this is, uh, it's all a, a resort, so there's a few uh, oh, okay. units down there. There's a pool, there's a okay. nice little kitchen, yeah. and that's the dining area, the, the big gazebo. So once you go down, you're going to be amazed. I know over here I give you the, well, some of a view, but this, uh, the gazebo down here is blocking the rest of the view. So family, once we step on down this way, you're going to come on down, you're just going to walk down, and it's just going to feel tropical paradise. Remnants of strawberry. Remnants of. And then other people from other places, you know, you, you'll be able to look at this uh, area and then compare it to where you live at also. And that's the energy we try to bring you to connect you to the tropical world. So there we go. Everyone is placing their orders. Mohammed has black soap. Mohammed has Yes, my brother, and we're going to be back in about two hours. Okay. That's where we are, family. And trust me, the view is nice. See, so if you want lunch, just make an order and we'll work the time out, and we'll be back to get our dinner. I mean, our lunch. Hey. You know what, instead of showing this to you this later, family, this is what we're going to do. We're going to come on down here. And then we're going to go right here to this big gazebo and the kitchen is right across from there. We're going to enjoy our beautiful, fine dining for lunch.
And yes, family, Bomani time alive in the flesh. And we're here in Ghana. We just got here last night and, uh, who, not last night, but uh, yesterday afternoon to be exact. And then uh, we had a nice welcome uh, dinner at Jamrock. And, uh, you know, we checked in um, earlier that day at MJ Grand Hotel in Isagon. So that's a nice accommodation for us for four days while we're here in um, Isagon, Accra area. Uh, so it's been great. So now we're up. This is our first morning. We're up, full of energy. That's my good brother, Kwab Mabaka, behind us, our tour guide walking up. Oh, now I saw you in the reflection, just saying hello. And uh, this is our, you know, family, this is our 17th year traveling to Ghana and 17 year in this business as far as Africa for the Africans. And the goal is to give you the best experience of a lifetime in Africa based on our experience and based on our logistics movement. So every day, you know, is a different day and a different venture and, uh, you know, different experience as we just take you around Ghana for 10 days. And then I always recommend anyone who wants to stay longer, you can stay longer and then there's other parts of the country you can check out. And then since you're in Africa, there's other parts of Africa that you can go to. Uh, Ghana has a nice, uh, you know, nice airport to where, you know, you have, you know, you have, you know, nice sequence of flights coming in from, uh, you know, from other parts of Africa and, you know, other parts of the world. Uh, so you can, you know, so it's a good flexibility for you to get around. Example, if you just want to go to uh, Nigeria or you want to go to, um, now, Ethiopia, you know, you'll be able to get a direct flight. So family, uh, this is our classic uh, Ghana soccer jersey. Always wearing the colors of the country, whether we're in an Africa for Africans t-shirt or one of those beautiful soccer jerseys. So this is a part of this, our connection and our energy. So family, the journey continues as we close out here with our lunch pre-order. And uh, we'll be back later on to enjoy a beautiful, fine lunch and relax and kick back from this going up to uh, the Trinity Academy um, School uh, to the Avery Botanical Gardens and also the uh, Woodcarving Village. Those are the three things we have. And then once we head back down to the mountains, we drive around the University of Ghana and then we'll close out and then head back to our hotel MJ Grand and just uh, have a beautiful dinner and then just relax for the night for those who are on relax. And if you want to socialize with us, for those who want to socialize, we have nice social energy inside of the uh, hotel and then you know there's a few different nightlife spots in the area so family that is it for us uh, today as far as our schedule the journey continues and we have a whole lot more to share with you and let me give you the last view before we head back up hey i'll be right back so this is what you're gonna be seeing later. Right. So from above you, you know, you can't see this part because of the uh, the zebra block in the area. So there you go family, that's what we do. We're always finding these great, beautiful places for you to enjoy paradise. So the journey continues. <laughs>